Hey everyone, Mubaid here from T-Shirt Profit Academy and uh, I thought I'll record a very short video because I have just discovered an awesome technique uh, for uh, audience insights and uh, so uh, this will be a very short quick video uh, but before that lot of people have been asking me about the video on how to find laser targeting uh, without affinity. So uh, I'll be working on that video today or maximum by tomorrow I'll be releasing that video. Uh, so don't worry if you can't find laser targeting uh, with the current setting which Facebook has. I'll show you some very easy techniques using which you'll find laser targeting without affinity. Uh, Alright, so this video is about a different technique which I have discovered recently. So as we all know when we do uh, a research on audience insights about different targeting, uh, we don't know which of the interest is targetable, right? In my previous webinar also where I showed you how to find laser targeting uh, using audience insights. In that webinar also I got a lot of questions where people ask me how to know whether a particular interest is targetable on Facebook or not. Uh, because what we have to do is we have to check each interest manually and see if it is targetable on Facebook or not. So till now there was no way to know if that interest is targetable or not. We had to manually plug in that interest in audience insights or AdWords manager and see for ourselves whether it is targetable or not. But today I will be showing you how we can find out whether the interest is targetable on Facebook or not. Alright, so for that what we will do is we will use one Chrome extension. So it's really awesome guys. So just uh, check out this extension FB Audience Insights Plus. Alright, so this works only in Chrome. So add it to Chrome and once you have that uh, extension installed then we'll go into our audience insights so here i am in my audience insights uh, as usual uh, what i'll do is i'll type some interest so let's say i am typing tennis here all right now i'll go to my page like section all right so we'll see all the related interests which facebook shows us but as you all know right now facebook is behaving very very uh, weird and it is not showing relevant interest so we all know that it's a, a bug uh, which Facebook is facing right now but I think it will be fixed very soon. Uh, but till that time let's just assume that uh, once we insert any interest we get relevant interest here and we want to know whether that particular interest is targetable on Facebook or not. So if you have that in extension in installed which I just showed you so what you have to do is you just click here once uh, and uh, if you see here your audience insights will change automatically. Now what it will do is it will uh, check for you whether that interest is targetable on Facebook or not. So if you see here all these interests are targetable on Facebook but these interests like target, subway, uh, these one LN. So these are not targetable on Facebook. So in just a glance you can see which interests are targetable on Facebook and which ones are not. Alright, so how, how awesome is this? Alright, so let's try some more. Uh, let's try Harry Potter. This is the example I always try uh, whenever I'm doing my research. Alright, so here also as you see, uh, I know it is showing irrelevant interest but uh, the point of this video is to show you how we can quickly know which interest is targetable on Facebook or not. So if the audience insights would have shown related interest like before, uh, it would have been so awesome for us, right? Right? Because we would have known which interests are targetable easily. So as you can see here, these interests, Disney, Subway, Harry Potter, Book Pulse, uh, Fast and Furious, these are all not targetable on Facebook. So it saves a lot of time for us. Here also you can see all these interests are targetable and the ones in red are not targetable. Now, suppose if you want to try out this particular interest, say Starbucks. So what you have to do is you just click on this particular icon you know this the first icon and it will be automatically populated here. So you just click space and you can select that interest. It's so easy. Alright. Alright. So how awesome is this? So everyone uh, should install this plugin. It's really awesome. Uh, I love it. I'm going to use it all the time because it will save me a lot of time. I don't have to pick each interest, plug it there and check whether it is targetable or not. So that's it guys. I hope this was helpful to you. Very short and quick uh, tutorial 
and uh, i just discovered in one of the communities and i thought it's really awesome and i wanted to share it with you guys so until next time see you soon bye bye